Hello, my friends. This is Mark, the Southern Cad Man, bringing to you another Brome 1990 Cadillac Brome, cotillion white, matching white cladding and autumn maple velour interior. This is one of the certainly one of the nicest 90 Bromes I have seen, and the reason is it was just so well loved. This car was garaged its entire life and it shows in ways that are very specific and can't really easily be reproduced when you're looking at the car just the lines the the condition of the chrome the condition of the interior switch plates the straightness of the car really tells the story i've got it under the carport to do my best to demonstrate i'll get some reflection and demonstrate just how straight this body is and hopefully show the condition of the paint as well. We'll take a couple walks down the sides so we can see. Hopefully we have enough of a reference point here to show you just how straight this car is. It is a, a real gem. I've enjoyed driving this one a lot. I had a lot of questions about it as we uh, featured it on brief video. When we picked it up, a lot of people asking me when it would be available. <clears throat> I only had to do a couple things to it. We did replace these four tires, put some nice new Iron Man white walls on, and we did a couple of the, uh, the fillers on the back below the license plate. And that's all it needed. This car, like I said, was garage since new, and uh, it really shows. Just things like the, the the condition of the the back of the the mirrors, the chrome on the door handles, all of this bright work not showing a lot of sunwear, spider webbing, that kind of thing. All of the hubcaps are in excellent condition. The center is intact. And again, you can see there's the rear. Just a fine, stately car, especially with that white cladding. And, and then we have the uh, the new fillers under the plate, like I mentioned. One of the things I wanted to discuss was the uh, vinyl top. This one's original, and I'm hoping we can see the grain here. What I'd like to know, if anyone out there does know the answer to this, is uh, what is the name of this grain? I know in the, the vinyl top from the 70s and 80s cars, it was called elk grain. And I want to say this is Seneca, but I'm not sure. So please let me know in the comments what this is. I do know that it's apparently not available. I've heard that from upholsterers and uh, checked myself online and I could not find this grain. So maybe it's out of production or or the uh, Hearts company hasn't put it back into production yet, I'm not sure. But you can see this this top's in great shape. <clears throat> the tailored back quarter windows, little, those little uh, opera windows I guess you'd call them in excellent shape. The glass is really nice on this car. There's no hard water staining, things like that. We'll get to the interior in a minute. And a little later on, I will kind of go over it with a fine tooth comb to um, point out any blemishes or flaws that I've noticed. One of the ones I'll point out just now that I'm thinking about it is it does have one little chip a rock chip in the windshield right there out of view and it's perfectly circular so I don't think it's going to expand so just while that was on my mind but a very nice car and uh, let's take a look inside you'll begin to see more in more detail how this car has been loved that 
autumn maple, such a beautiful color. But have a look at some of this. The switch plate, and there's the chrome switches back behind the pole. Just how nice and clean all of that simulated wood is. Tops of the door panels, nice. The armrest, nice shape. Here at the entry, the carpet, still very, very nice. Has the original floor mats. How inviting. So comfortable. And this stuff wears like iron. So any, any of this you're seeing is kind of the way it's been. I don't think that's wear as much as it is directional. If these get it anywhere, it's usually on the weld. And there's just the smallest spot, that inner piece of weld right there. But the bolsters up here are nice. Armrests. The dash is excellent. And you've heard me talk before about my pet peeve, the steering wheel. And it's very nice as well. Actually, the leather on the steering wheel is quite soft and um, from working with dyes fabrics and, and leathers in the past um, red is the hardest color to uh, to stay fast it's it's prone to wearing off quicker than most but the steering wheel is held up nicely <clears throat> the original radio the original antenna works up and down like it's supposed to have a look at the reflection on all of this trim. Again, this is the kind of detail that's just almost impossible to reproduce. I hope it's showing up like, like it is in person. Mileage on the car currently Five liter car, and it is a joy to drive. Very, very soft, smooth ride this car gives. I'm trying to find uh, there was one other little spot right here. There's a single, what would look like a, a cigarette burn. Unfortunate, but not very noticeable. In fact. From here, not noticeable at all if you put the armrest down. <laughs> Has the, uh, the cup holder, which is usually gone. And it's just something I had in here to clean up with. Hubcap key, owner's manual, things like that are intact. When you look out over the hood, it's very straight. Another one of my pet peeves is when you see a wrinkle somewhere. There's no such thing with this car. Take a look at the back seat. Kind of a cliche to say it's like it never was set in. But it is that clean. The armrests. Headliner has been replaced. Um, with this color, you have to make a compromise in one direction or another because they don't offer the exact autumn maple, but to the mind's eye, this all matches up nicely. Pockets are clean. Again, has the original armrest, there's the original floor mats. Very nice car. Package shelf. Very nice. The only thing I noticed about the back along this contour, I got a little weird shape, which is odd. It doesn't look like anything's ever been done. So it's hard to say what that comes from. Maybe when someone was. I don't know. It's hard to say on that. Have a look at the door jams. M 
hinges, just the clean, clean, super clean in a way you just don't see. See, here is the original pinstripe that's painted on at the factory. This stripe here is original, however, I did notice that, and I had to look hard, but, boy, I don't know, maybe it is. It seems a little thicker on the top here than the factory stripe, but if this has been painted, then this has been clear coated. Very hard to tell if this is. As you can see here, this is a, a original paint, painted stripe, and it blends in so well. If there's been any work, it was really done professionally. But I'm confident that the quarter panel is untouched. Anyway, hopefully, you're getting a sense of kind of car this is. You just don't see them like this. So we are offering it up and hopefully it will find its way to a new loving home somewhere that will be enjoyed. Just give me a call if you want to talk about it. And what we're going to ask is 14.5 cosmetic condition of this now let me get the hood in the trunk I almost forgot the cosmetic of this one is uh, is a step above there we are this is the five liter again. Tidied up under here. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't save it, but there was uh, the previous owner had some masking tape here with the mileage and all of the uh, um, oil changes dates. I should have taken a picture. I'm kicking myself or not, but it was pretty disintegrated. But you could see what it was. Very reliable engine. These five liters. I remember I had a Brome back in the early 90s and uh, it went, bought it at about 55,000 and it went up to almost 200. And it was still actually running fine. I really like that engine. Now let's get to the trunk. A long time ago, someone told me the condition of the trunk reflects the condition of the whole car. Pretty decent rule of thumb. I found it to be generally true. So if that's the case, you can see here that this car has been very, very well kept and loved. Uh, this is going to sound crazy to some, but others will identify. When I bought the car and it had the old tires on it, of course I was nervous about one of them going bad on me. So I grabbed that spare and jack out of a parts car I have. I threw them back here, and I actually forgot they were back here, but I've since gotten the tires replaced, of course, and this is why I did that. I did not want to disturb the original spare, which appears to have never seen pavement. Still had all the striping on it, and uh, so out of respect for that, I threw that other spare and jack in here. See the stickers, all good, all there intact. Checking instructions, codes. Okay, I pulled her out into the open and I was going to go around the car to point out anything that I notice as far as blemishes or flaws, anything like that. Um, small little touch up brush mark there. 
mean, this is the kind of stuff it's going to be. That's generally in pretty good shape, but you can see maybe the slightest shadowing of whatever little chips or bugs. And we're getting detailed here. <laughs> the nose end of these cars. You're going to have a tiny little speck here and there. Just full disclosure. And this is stuff that could be corrected. Maybe the tiniest surface scratch there. There's there's not a lot of flaws. We talked about this side and speculation over if there's a little bit of a respray on part of it. I tell you, this this car is that crisp. It's going to be tough to find anything. I don't really see anything. Okay. That might be it. Not sure what's going on there. It's maybe in a piece of touch-up. That looks like it's can't tell what that is. I would say maybe it's a threat of a blister, but it's the way it's shaped, it doesn't look like that. There's a where someone hit it with a little touch-up brush there and right there. My eyes aren't what they used to be, so I can't guarantee this is <laughs> I'm catch every little thing. Tiny dot. Another little tiny dot. Another little tiny dot right there. Anyway, spotted one more thing. Tiny, tiny little divot right there. thing you don't see is door dings. Now with garage kept cars it goes one of two ways it seems. Either it's full of door dings because they had a car parked next to it. Or you have basically none. And this car really just doesn't have any. Well let's take it for a ride. She fires to life nicely. Again, that's the current mileage. It'll obviously go up even, even here while we're uh, in it. But classic view. Let's see if we can keep steady here. But this car is so smooth. Again, of all the ones that I have available, this is the one I gravitate to. So comfortable, so pleasant. Handles well, accelerates well, stops well. The air is cold, the heat's hot. Picked the car up in the summertime, so I drove it in the summer in the south. So, I should tell you what you need to know where that's concerned. Such a clean, clean car. We won't go too far. You get the idea. But it really does carry you along. Okay, the one thing I did I did notice that there is a random anti-lock light that will pop up.
at that big, beautiful, stately hood. What a view to enjoy going down the road. This is the king from another time, Cadillac Brome. This is as good as it got, folks, 1990. If you're looking for a super nice, clean one, this just might be it. Sneak peek on something coming up. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Be happy to answer, happy to discuss the car. Until next time.